Hey guys, welcome to part two of this Dino 308 GT4 review. In part one, I gave you a little history, a little breakdown of how this car came to be. And in part two, I'm gonna be driving this around the city and give you guys an impression of how this drives. So stay tuned. All right guys, so I'm finally behind the wheel of this Dino 308 GT4. First impressions, this seat is super, super comfortable, much more comfortable than my 360 seat. The steering in this car is super, super heavy. I mean, even compared to the NSX, this is much heavier than, than that. Um, Lack of power steering could definitely be felt, especially around here. I'm gr going pretty slow in this neighborhood, and man, I'm just not used to that. But of course, that it gives you that feel, that feel of uh, driving around something special, right? Something that that's different from everything else that that you've been driving. Sound, the sound is amazing. You know, there's not a lot of insulation in here, so you could definitely hear it. Even cruising at 40, no, even 35 right now. Definitely hear it. That's awesome. When you have a mid-engine right behind you and you can hear the exhaust note clearly, uh, it just adds to that specialness. You know, it makes the drive that much more enjoyable. Nice. Now, in terms of this gated shifter, it's a little bit different. You can't really jam it in. It, it, there's, there's a special feel to it when you're putting it into gear. It's like there's a little catch and then you push in. And the overall layout, the first gear is towards you while reverse is up. So it's a little bit, little. you gotta get used to it. But overall, it's, uh, it's really nice. It shifts really nice. And the clutch is not too heavy. There's no passenger mirror, okay? That's that's just how these things are built. You have one here, rear view mirror obviously, but nothing on the passenger side. And uh, I just had to do, I just had to back out of the driveway, had <laughs> to turn around. Man, it, it was tough for me, it was tough for me. Couldn't see, couldn't, couldn't turn, but I, I, I managed. The visibility is great, the windshield's big. All the windows around is, is really big so you have no problems seeing out of this car again when you add it to the comfort of seats it's a really nice cruising car other than the fact that well you have to get used to the noise which i myself don't mind any car guy should not mind and the fact that the steering is heavy when you're going slow speeds but however when you get up to speed it's it's not that bad So now I'm, that I'm getting used to how to really use the shifter. I mean, once you get used to it, it's, it's actually quite enjoyable to, to get it right. <laughs> so that's part of this drive. It's, it's, uh, it's nice. Um, handling wise, it's pretty good. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really tracking it, of course. I'm going around town, but it feels very nice. Remember I mentioned about no passenger side mirror. So. When you're lane changing, you have to look back. Well, you should anyways, but uh, that's something you gotta watch out for. That's pretty cool. Well, pretty unique, I should say. Alright guys, so to conclude, um, this drive with this Dino, 
was a, was a blast. Of course, I was uh, very nervous. Um, I had the owner next to me, and you know what? It takes a while to get used to the clutch. It takes a while to get used to this gated shifter. But after a while, I, I got used to it, and it's uh, it's fun. It's fun with an old car like this, right? Um, it's, it definitely takes a lot more effort, even more so than my 360, which I said, I like the loudness, I like the stiff steering, um, I like the low height. Well, guess what? On this car, the height is even lower. Uh, it's lower to the ground, so you really got to watch out for those curbs and bumps. But um, the steering is also extremely, extremely heavy. I'm still not used to that. But everything, you know, the sound, the, the where you're sitting, um, you know, th this whole thing, even looking at the gauges, just being in here definitely makes you feel special. The gauges especially looks really cool. Just between us, uh, the RPM is on the right side and the miles per hour is on the left side. And most of this drive, I thought I was looking at miles per hour, but <laughs> I was actually looking at the RPM. So that's quite funny. Good thing I didn't get pulled over. Um, but overall guys, this, this has been a blast. I really, really want to give the owner Mike a big shout out for letting me drive this thing. And, uh, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this. That's it guys. So if you enjoy this, obviously hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more videos like this. All right. Take care guys. Bye-bye.